Hi everybody, this is Lindsay from WindingRoadCrochet.com and today I'm going to show you how to make the Rosabelle Shawlet. For this beginner friendly pattern, you will need to know how to chain, single crochet, and work in the back loops only. You can find the link for the written pattern in the description box below and while you're down there, make sure to like and subscribe. The Rosabelle Shawlet is an asymmetrical triangle shawl that is worked in the back loops only to create this beautiful ribbing texture and it was inspired by a knitted triangle shawl that was the garter stitch and so I tried to replicate it and crochet. To get started you will need a 12 millimeter crochet hook and approximately three ounces of Red Heart Hyg Charm. I am using the colorway called Meteor or a roughly 186 yards. I really like the dusty rose color of this yarn as well as it has just a little bit of sparkle to it. To start, you'll make a slip knot and put your yarn on your hook. And we are going to chain three. Working into the second loop from the chain, single crochet into that chain and the next chain. So only two stitches in your first row. For row two, we will chain one, turn our work, and single crochet into the back loops only of each stitch across. So working into this back loop, we'll single crochet. All right, for row three, we'll chain one and turn. And this is starting our repeat row. We are going to work two single crochet into the back loop only of the first stitch. So an increase in the first stitch. It'll probably feel a little weird working with such a large hook, but you will get used to it. Now we are going to just single crochet into the next stitch. Chain one and turn to start row four. For row four, we are going to single crochet in the back loops only of every stitch across. Turn our work for row five, being an odd row, we are going to work two single crochet into the first stitch, into the back loops only, always in the back loops only, and then a single crochet in every stitch across. So you will always increase in the first stitch of all the odd rows. chain one and turn and for row six and all your even rows you will simply work a single crochet in every stitch across again in the back loops only and we will continue those repeats all the way across but every other row you will increase by one stitch so we'll chain one for row seven, you'll see that one side is gonna stay straight, the other side you're going to go ahead and slant. If you lose counts of your rows, know that it's on the slanted side is when you start on the slanted side, that is the row that you will start with an increase. If your row starts on that straight side, then you're simply single crocheting across. So I will continue repeating this until we have a total of 90 rows. So on row eight, we are just single crocheting and every stitch across, always in the back loops only. I'm gonna sound like a broken record, but that's the part that really adds that beautiful ribbed texture. And now you can see the top side is our slanted side our angled side 
You're going to chain one and turn for row nine. Since it's on that angled side, we're going to increase in the first stitch, working a second single crochet into that first stitch, and then single crochet in the back loops only of every stitch across. I like to write patterns in a way where they're a repeat regardless of the stitch count. I think it's a little bit easier to memorize and makes the pattern a little bit more enjoyable because you're not reading a pattern the entire time you are doing it. So I've just done my repeat a few more times. I want to show you where I'm at. You can see how the scarf is slowly growing. It's remaining flat on one side and starting to angle out on the other. And you just keep repeating until you have a total of 90 rows or you could simply stop whenever you feel the shawlet is as long as you'd like it to be. So here we have the finished shawl. You see the beautiful rib texture. It has a nice open stitch. Doesn't look quite as loose once you get the whole thing done but it, because it has that big stitch in it, it's gonna be light and airy and perfect for spring and fall. And this is the largest side of our shawlet. As you look at it and pull this up, you will see that it gets smaller and smaller to where we started the shawlet. So I really hope you liked today's pattern. If you did, let me know in the comments below. Let me know your favorite type of patterns to work on so that gives me inspiration for future patterns. And if you enjoyed this pattern, make sure you hit that subscribe button and share this pattern with your friends.